Chong Yi Wen, a PhD student in Grail and Reavi Lab. I'm excited to hear to be here to present my research work called uh, "Photo Wake Up 3D Character Animation from a Single Photo." Uh, the work was done by co-working with uh, Professor Brian Collins and Iraq Milwaukee. So let's start. Okay, so this is Stephen Curry. People know that. And <laughs> yeah, actually, the image captured the moment when Stephen Curry made an important three-point shot. And time was frozen when the image was captured. And our goal is we want to wake out a photo to bring the Stephen Curry to life again by animating his body. So here's the result. <laughs> so quite fun. And actually, our technique can be applied to large variety of photos. So this is a Banksy graffiti we download from internet, and this is our result. <laughs> okay, so another case, Uko, <laughs> people know that, a cartoon character in comics Dragon Ball. And this is an image. And this is our result. Okay, so the last one is one of my favorites. This is Picasso painting. And we can do that. So check out this. This is our result. Okay, so this is one of my favorite. And okay, so because behind the technology, we actually rebuilt a 3D human model of that character. So if we have some augmented reality device like HoloLens, we can in some way bring the character into real 3D world. So I demonstrate in this video. So here I virtually hand up the painting in on the wall of the building and bring it to the real city world. So actually, to refresh the goal, uh, in order to wake up a photo, our goal is given that photo, we hope we can rebuild a 3D model of that human character. And also we want to make it animatable because it is important in our scenario. So the high level idea is that we leverage the multiple body model which is trained by lots of real body uh, scans and allow users to control the shape and the pose with parameters, which is good in our scenario. But unfortunately, a uh, multiple body model is naked. So to tackle the problem, we propose a two step to solve the problem. First, we fit the body model based on body pose to get a approximate body model. Then we warp the the mesh, the body mesh, to match the body silhouette. And hopefully, we hope after warping, we still keep a reasonable mesh geometry and skin weight, which will be used for animation. So here we go through our pipeline in a very high level concept. Given a single image, this is our input. We detect 2D pose and segment the human mask. Then based on 2D pose, we regress the parameter of multiple body model to get a plasmate body mesh. Then we extract the skinny mat and the depth mat from the, uh, the, the body mesh. And depth map represent the mesh geometry, and skinny map represent the animation information, which tell us how to move the vertex on the mesh when the pose was changed. Then we warp the both maps to match the segmented human mask to get a new new maps. Then we rebuild our mesh, the front part of our mesh, by combining these two maps. And also we repeat the same process to rebuild the back part of our mesh by virtually rendering the back view of the body model. So then finally we rebuild the texture and we impend the occluded part of the background image and put the mesh on the background, then apply the motion sequence in our database, like running, to finish the wake-up illusion. So here, 
we want to see more results. So LeBron James, Messi, <laughs> and unknown girls. So this is a movie poster. And Beatles. And still bank security. And we can take you back to the time, to back to the moon, have a moonwalk. The same, Wukong. And Iron Man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Another painting. And we can also do something like this. Last one result is about augmented reality result. We can see some of the result. This is was a download a video from HoloLens. This is Beatles Albert help. And this is Picasso painting here. We demonstrate we start motion, then look around on the mesh. And later we will make it run again. This is the CSU building. I think people know that. Okay, so that's all. Thank you.